For my new project, I want to use a floating disc in the bottom of a segmented piece, as I generally do on segmented work. This is the disc I want to use. Now it's a little over an inch thick, and I only need one eighth of an inch. So I want to put this through the bandsaw on edge and slice a piece off, maybe three sixteenths, then I'll put it through my drum sander to clean up that face. To hold this securely and keep my fingers away from that blade, I'm going to attach this to the side of this board using hot glue. I'll use a bead of hot glue across here, then under here on both sides. So I'll put that through the bandsaw, and let's take a look at how I'm going to do that. First I'll glue this up. With two clamps holding this securely, I'm going to just run a bead of glue along this face and this joint. I want to use lots of glue, don't want to take any chances on this coming apart. I'm going to give that a couple of seconds to cool and then I'm going to flip it over and put glue on the other joints. And now I'll just run glue along here, just a little bit. Just make a little more sure that it's not going to come apart. Now I'll let that cool and I'll take it over to the bandsaw. Now with my tall fence on here, I should be able to slide this along there, keeping my fingers well clear of this and that this is wide enough that it won't rock and roll. It should just slide right through. So let's give it a shot. We'll turn on the dust collector and let's take a look at this. I'll pull that out of there. Once I put it through the drum sander and clean this face up, I think I'll be very happy with this. I'll bring it down to one eighth of an inch. That's my next step. And with that, I end up with a nice disc that I can use as a floating disc in my segmented work. And you can do different sizes of discs, small, large, whatever you can get on your bandsaw, basically. Another thing I should have mentioned, aside from keeping your fingers away from the blade, having this glued to the board keeps the blade of the bandsaw from catching and turning it and spinning it. If you're holding that disc in your bare hands, very difficult, if not impossible to control, you can really injure yourself. So this is a way to avoid that as well. Well, I hope this will help somebody out in some way. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day in your shop. And remember, be safe. Take care.